Today we have seven of the top wireless meat probes currently on the market. If you love grilling and want to ensure your meat is perfectly cooked, you're going to want to stick around for this one. Let's dive in and let's meet the contenders. We have the Chef IQ, we have Chef's Temp, we have the Meter Block, we have Meter 2, we have the Meat Stick, we have Typher, and then we have Thermo Pro. All right, so first impressions, this is the Chef IQ. This is the Sense. The case, I really like the design of the case. It has basically this plastic hard shell cover. The charging is USB-C, so you do have rapid charging on here. You have this kind of like mesh right here, and I was like, well, that's kind of weird. Turns out that is actually a speaker, so even if you are not with your phone, it can still guide you through the cook. As far as the probes go, the total length of the probe is going to be four inches, and then probe thickness is three sixteenths. All right, next up we have the Chef's Temp. This is their Pro Temp Plus. Some initial things I like about it, the case can stand upright, but you also do have a magnetic back. You do have USB-C rapid charging, and I do like that you have one charging in the front, and then the back opens up. Chef's Temp is the only one on the market that will actually give you different size temperature probes. Not every probe is going to be perfectly ideal for every cooking situation. So the fact that it gives you two different size probes is pretty cool that if you're doing a small steak, you can use the small one. If you're doing a huge, large brisket, you can use the big one. For the big probe here, you have a five inch probe. And then for the small one, you're looking at a total length of about four inches. The thicker one is going to be 15 sixty fourths. And then the smaller one is going to be 7 30 seconds. Next up, we have the meter block. It gives you four probes, which is going to be the most probes of something that we're going to be reviewing today. You can use this as a standalone or you can use this with the app. And then to power this unit, it does take four AA batteries. The total length of the probe is going to be five inches. The thickness is going to be 15 sixty fourths. All right, the next one is the meter two. You do have a bamboo case and then it is powered by one AAA battery. And I think my favorite thing about the meter two is that ambient sensor probe part is stainless steel as well. And so this can withstand temps of up to a thousand F. The probe itself, you're looking at a total length of five inches and then the thickness is 3 sixteenths of an inch. All right, next up we have the meat stick. So this is going to be the cheapest probe that we're going to be reviewing today. It does have a magnetic case, and then on the back it's charged by two AA batteries. Lengthwise, you're looking at about 5 and a half inches, and then the probe thickness is 15 sixty-fourths. All right, for this one, we got the Thermo Pro. This is the Temp Spike Plus. It is charged by USB-C, and it does have a plastic cover, so I like that for storage. That's pretty cool. As far as the dimensions of the thermometer, about four inches for that probe length, and then the probe thickness, you are at 13 64ths. And then last up, we have the Typher Sync. This is their dual, so you're going to have two probes that it comes with. The initial thoughts, it reminds me of like the retro Game Boy that you'd play back in the day. It is USB-C chargeable, and it does have a built-in stand on the back, so it can stand up on its own. The probe length on this one is 5 inches, and then the probe thickness is going to be... 1564. All right, so now we're going to dive into connectivity and app interface. And so that is where you're going to pair your phone with the actual device and how it works with the app. So the first up, we're looking at the Chef IQ. This one was the easiest one to set up when it comes to setting it up through the app. Very, very easy. Really liked the app interface uh, for the Chef IQ. My only complaint is once you actually log in, it wants you to set up a username and someone took the username Grill Sergeant. I don't know who. I will look for you. I will find you. And if you're doing steaks, man, this thing, this unit is really, really cool. But my only fear is if you're doing, say, pork butts or a big brisket, that this probe sensor 
length isn't actually going to be enough to get the job done. I would say my only con on that. So as far as the setup score goes, I gave it a 9 out of 10. Ease of use, I gave it a 10 out of 10. User interface, I gave it a 10 out of 10. And so overall, I give this a 9 out of 10. So that came in with a score of 38 points. Next up, we have the Chef's Temp. This is their Pro Temp Plus. This also was very, very easy to set up in the app. It does have Bluetooth. It does have Wi-Fi for the ambient temperature range is 122 Fahrenheit all the way up to 662 Fahrenheit. And then the ambient sensor max heat is gonna be 752 Fahrenheit. As far as the setup score, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. The ease of use, a nine out of 10. The app user interface, eight out of 10. So overall, so I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 with a total score of 35 points. All right, next up is the meter block. Most of these were pretty much easy to set up, but the interesting thing is when I also added the meter two, it kicked the meter block off the app, which I thought it was very weird. So I had to disconnect some things and reconnect. So it was a little pain. Don't know if it was just a fluke or whatever, but I did have to reconnect this. So it does have built-in Bluetooth. It does have built-in Wi-Fi and it did show up on my smartwatch as a standalone app. Setup score, I give it a seven out of 10. Ease of use, eight out of 10. User interface, I give it an eight out of 10. And so overall, a eight out of 10. So that gives it a total score of 31. All right, so next up we have the Meter 2. Really, really easy to set up. It has Bluetooth, it has Wi-Fi, and then also Meter does show up as a smartwatch app. I really wish that they had different finish options because I actually have the original Meter and here is pretty much what it looks like. This thing is, it's disgusting. Like there's, it's just, it's gross, and yes, it's not Meter's fault. I just, I, I left this out in just a barbecue drawer. This was also stored in the same drawer, and so yes, it does have, you know, dust and, you know, grime on it, but this is something that can be kind of washed off and cleaned. This, I don't think that there is saving it. Setup score, this thing, I'm gonna give it a nine. Ease of use, I'm gonna give it a nine. App user interface, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. And in overall, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. So total score on that one's gonna be a 35. Next up, we have the Meat Stick. This is the 4X. The app was extremely outdated, somewhat difficult to figure out. A lot of it is like, I judge when I'm first using an app based on like what's intuitive and everything kind of felt very um, kind of like, where am I supposed to click? How am I supposed to use this thing? Does have Bluetooth, does not have built-in Wi-Fi, but it does give you a smartwatch app. So setup score on this, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Ease of use, seven out of 10. User interface, I'm gonna give a five out of 10. And then overall, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. So a total score of 25. Next up, we have the Thermo Pro. This is the Temp Spike Plus. This was the only app that didn't actually require setting up through an email and all that jazz. So that props to you on you just let me use your app and you don't need my information. That being said, the app still was somewhat outdated. It was a little bit better than the Meat Stick, but just a hair better than that. Does it have built-in Bluetooth? Yes. Does it have Wi-Fi? No. But it also gives you a smartwatch standalone app, so that was pretty cool. So setup score, 9 out of 10. Uh, ease of use, 8 out of 10. App user interface, 6 out of 10. And overall, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, so with a total score of 30. Last up, we have the Typher. This was really, really easy to set up with the app. Built-in Bluetooth, it does have Wi-Fi. It did not give a smartwatch app. The app user interface, uh, I actually wasn't that impressed. To me, Typher is one of those like kind of high-end brands. And so I was kind of expecting a little bit more from, from the app. So as far as setup score goes, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Ease of use, eight out of 10. User interface, a seven out of 10. So overall, eight out of 10 with a score of 32. Once you actually get to your backyard, 
and put these thermometers in your smoker. The most upsetting thing is when you close that smoker lid, it loses connection. So we are going to try it out on three smokers today. Behind me, I have the Pit Boss. We're also gonna be doing an offset smoker that has quarter inch steel, and we're gonna go all the way up to a Smoke and Tex, which is one inch insulated. So I'm gonna be surprised if any of those are gonna come through with readings. So now let's test it out. Now for distance test, I'm going to get all these in here. So we have Chef IQ, we have the Chef's Temp, we have the meter block, we have the meter, we have the meat stick, we have the temp spike, and then we have the typher. And I close this up. Now let's go for a little ride. <laughs> We're going to drive maybe a few blocks away and this is really going to kind of test the Wi-Fi capabilities. It is pretty funny on how my phone is kind of blowing up right now with notifications like, oh, this probe got disconnected, this probe got disconnected. So once we get to the park, we'll tune back in and see which connections we still have. All right, we are down by the San Antonio River right now. But now that we're out and about, it's the true test. As far as the Chef IQ, I still have a reading from it. It's still connected to the probe. That one is still working good. Now let me go up to the chef's temp. Chef's temp is still reading. From there, what do we have? The meter. So unfortunately with the meter block and the meter two, we have lost connection on both. So from there we have the meat stick and the meat stick connection lost from there we have the thermopro spike that one we have the connection lost on that one and then the last one is typer and that one we still have a connection saying it's 81 degrees so the chef iq the chef's temp and then the typer those ones still held a connection via Wi-Fi with the thickest smoker we have. So now let's go back and let's do a cook. I don't know about y'all, but with all this filming and testing, I worked up an extreme appetite. So to cure that, we have a extremely thick tomahawk and I think it can hold all the probes. It's gonna look funny. It's gonna look like a porcupine. This is from Disruption Rubs. So I'm just gonna lay down the first coat. This is again, their all purpose spicy. We're just going to coat all that around. So next up, we have their beef and more. Nice color on it and whatnot. No sides left behind. The last thing, we have some of their grilling dust, and we'll be putting that on once the steak is done. But right now, what we're going to do is let's go get some grill marks on a steak.
So we have our tomahawk here. It looks cooked, not done yet. It looks beautiful though. So now what we're gonna do is start making this thing look like a porcupine. So I'm gonna come in here. I have my temperature probes in here. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of go through and just kind of insert each one. My gosh, look at that. So now let's get this back on the grill and then we will pull it when it's ready. So right now, the smart thermometer from Chef IQ is saying remove from heat. You're at an internal degree of 136. But see, the thing is, that's the issue with having the short probe because the longer probes are actually that get into the center of the steak are saying, actually, we're not at 136. As much as I love the Chef IQ with the thin probe, trust me, thin probe all day long, but since they aren't as long, you're going to, if say you went with that, like I want a beautiful, you know, medium rare steak, you'd cut in and you would be disappointed spending 40 bucks on a tomahawk steak. You'd be like, oh man, it was a little under. Now 11 minutes later. And now pretty much all of them are going off like, hey, it's time to pull it. So we are going to come in here. We are going to pull it off. Look at that right now. That looks absolutely beautiful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this off. We're going to let the meat rest in here for about 10 minutes uh, so that it can just, you know, like get all nice and juicy on the inside. All right. So before we slice in, I'm going to put a little bit of the disruption. This is the grilling dust. And this is just that last little umami kick to it before we actually take a taste test. I'm just going to sprinkle a little on. And then let me just pour this on. That could be an opening shot right there. Like that's, that is some money. Let's carve in. So usually for a tomahawk, what I like doing is I like holding it upright. You have your bone right here. And what I like doing is kind of just carving and working alongside this bone right here. Slice right in here. And ooh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna bring this in, feed the family, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upstairs and then I'll tell you my final thoughts. After doing all the tests and after doing the cook, I really narrowed it down to about three and then I'm going to announce uh, kind of third all the way up to first. So in third place uh, in my book comes the Chef IQ. This was an awesome, awesome unit. The only thing that it felt short is it was about 10 degrees off from all the other temperatures. From there, second place, the tie for unit. Very, very cool unit. And again, all three of these kept the Wi-Fi, kept the long distance, kind of ran through the gauntlet. Overall, this did amazing. Um, but again, also because of the price being at as high it is, I kind of expected a little bit more. So thus, first place is going to go to Chef's Temp. Not only does it give the multiple probe lanes, so whether we're doing a small steak, we can kind of switch it up, or whether we're doing a large brisket. And so this definitely not only was able to track the temps and not only deliver like that, just like, hey, I know what I want, so I'm going to trust it. I will link all these probes in the description, so you can check them out on your own if you wanted to do your own research. Other than that, it was fun. We ate good. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Grill Sergeant out.